It may be surprising with my channel being as small as it is that I get a lot of offers to review a lot of products, and some of these products are pretty silly. Recently, I got an email from a company that makes this battery-powered fan fly swatting thing that supposedly swats bugs with its blades. It's, I don't know. But this product is actually useful. It's a tire pressure monitoring system that monitors the pressure on your truck's tires and on your trailer's tires. This one I said yes to. Let's check it out. All right, so one of the reasons why I agreed to uh, do a video on this guy is I could have actually used it on my last trip down to Texas towing the trailer. You see, I got a flat. About 80, 90 miles outside of Atlanta. Got a flat. This is what I had to work with. Patching a tire in the dirt like a boss. And the Ford Expedition, as much as I love that thing, it doesn't give me tire pressure readings all the time. The Jeep Grand Cherokees, I had three of them before this, they did. This doesn't. This just gives you a warning when it falls below like 35 PSI. But when you're pulling a 10,000 pound trailer, 35 PSI ain't gonna cut it. The tires in the back were set to, I think on the way down to 51 PSI. And then I had, after the flat, I got them replaced with heavy duty Michelins, which take 80 PSI. So you need something to monitor that pressure all the time. And this will monitor the pressure as well as the temperature if we can figure out how to set it up. But first, let's take a look in the box. So here's what you get when you order this thing. This is a little sticky pad to stick it to the dashboard. There's a couple of manuals. There's a quick start guide, and then there's the sensor installation guide, and then there's the product itself. I already had a cursory glance at this. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I can tell you this thing supposedly does a lot of really cool stuff. So it's got four sensors for your truck's tires and then four for the trailer. That's pretty slick. It also has a solar panel. What I've not done is taking this thing out of the box yet. It also has a solar panel on the top to charge. So you charge it initially with a power adapter. And then after that, you just let it charge with the sun on your dashboard. what is known as a tight sack. All right, so there's a the display. These are the different mode buttons and all that. Solar panels here. It's got a USB charge port on the back. And then you have these sensors. Let's take a look at one of these sensors. So these sensors are battery powered. They take, I believe, 20, 32 cells. But this is actually pretty slick. So I'm gonna charge this thing tonight. We're gonna go put it on the Expedition and test it all out in all the settings tomorrow. So it's the next day, and this is the kind of thing that actually requires a lot of reference to the manual. It's fairly complicated, but it can do a lot. So it says in the standby mode, which I assume this is the standby mode. Not really sure how to get there. Um, but you touch the code button for three seconds to enter the pairing mode. One, two, three. Okay, so now it's pairing. So now let's take the left front tire. Okay, here's the left front tire sensor. I guess you're supposed to hold it here and hit code again. And it identifies it. Okay, then I guess you hit the code again. No. <sighs> All right, let's try the left front tire. Three seconds on the code button. All right, and now I guess we can just move this around. Okay. And then... Okay. Does that mean it's programmed? Does that mean the first one's not programmed? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what that means. It says it returns to standby mode. Do you press and hold the button? I, I... I, I don't know what, what is going on. I, I have no clue. Okay, well, let's try this again. Let's try the left front one more time. 
Now, the ones with the circle will be the trailer. So we'll push and hold the code button again. Left front. Let's go. So that's left front. I think you only have to do that once. And then you push and hold code until it starts screaming at you because you got, well, in this case, four flat tires. Okay. Shut up. Push and hold code. So I think this is a pretty realistic example of what you have to go through. to get this thing programmed and how frustrating it can be until you get the hang of it. Now let's push and hold code and let it scream at us. Now we have six tires. All right, left rear. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was aggravating, I'm not gonna lie. All right, left front. Since we're on this side, left rear. Now, I do have a slow leak in the passenger side rear tire. Right front. Okay. Right rear. Now that we've got the sensors on, it took a while to identify, well, we got four of the sensors on anyway. It took time to identify the four sensors and you can see that the passenger side rear tire is in fact going low because that one was 46. It's, it's barely leaking, but I'm gonna have to take this back to discount tire and have them take care of that. But the problem is the warnings, the default warning settings, which this thing was screaming at me, are set ridiculously high. The minimum tire pressure on the default is 100 PSI. The maximum tire setting, tire pressure for warnings is 175 PSI. That is all very, very high. And again, I did find a page in the manual finally where it addresses how to get to mode two. Mode one is used on in the common road and mode two is used in the special road such as in the desert I, I i don't know what that means in the standby mode press the set button for three seconds to enter the setting mode and then press plus or minus button to select the desired setting items oh i see because i was trying to figure out how to get to here so let's press the set button for three seconds Okay, so yeah, it says PSI. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we don't want to mess with that because otherwise it'll go to bar. Okay, wait a second. So it says plus or minus will go. Yeah, no, that, that, how do I get to the next mode? Hold the set button. Let's try a set. Will set get me through the uh, uh, yeah, Fahrenheit? And I guess this would be Celsius. So Fahrenheit. Let's, and if you want to set it and save it. So what do I rate this thing? I'm going to give it a B minus. It does what it says it does. It tells you your tire pressure on your truck. It tells you the tire pressure on your trailer. It gives you warnings and they're customizable. It even tells you the tire temperature. That part is awesome. Why not an A plus? Well, oh, it's also solar powered so you don't have to charge it all the time. Those features are fantastic. The cons are obviously the setup. The manual in a word sucks. It's terrible. I still don't know what mode two is. What is a desert road? I have no idea what that means. I did finally figure out how to access that mode, but I don't know what it means. But the manual is very poorly written and you're not gonna use this thing without the manual. It's, it's not intuitive at all. So that's the biggest con. Then there's a sort of a practical con and the practical con is that somebody may try to steal the sensors. Particularly on the trailer, they do stick out past the tires, 
They are pretty big, but they have to be. They have batteries, and I'm sure the batteries are gonna last plenty long. But if you're taking trips, a long trip in particular, and you need to keep tabs on your tires, this is actually a very good choice. For the money, you're not gonna beat it. I think it's fantastic. There's a link in the description below if you wanna buy one, but just be aware of the caveats, at least in my experience. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And now you're seeing, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's after 7 p.m. And this is a suburban road that happens to be six lanes in each direction with turn lanes. That's how bad traffic is here now. It's ridiculous.